Sam does a track to ready for a fast uh, 800 meter semis or final. Um, hopefully, I mean, even if the track isn't fast, I know we're going to have to, <laughs> you know, work because everything's out there trying to get into this. Arjay, how did the key play factor in your race strategy today? Do you think it affected you at all? Did everything go as planned? Um, I wouldn't say I noticed anything too much. You know, the stadium, when we came in, it wasn't super hot, super warm. So it was just about, again, at that point, focusing on what our race plan was and just executing. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Arjay, Arjay, you got the shoe draped over. You're kind of a great professional now with the... Yeah, you feel like you're more experienced with this now, the whole thing, and kind of like... Absolutely, my first world champs, um, no, it was Penn Relays, I was on a team with Alicia, she finished and she took her spikes off and she had them draped over it since then, that's kind of just something that I learned from her, I'm super um, happy with Adidas and you know they treat me well, so I, I definitely at the biggest stage that I can, I want to represent them probably as well. Uh, did you feel a little more pressure at this championship relative to the previous ones, given that you appear to be the clear number one at the minute? Um, not really, for me it's never about, you know, what rank I am going in, because in the same regard, if I'm coming in fifth or sixth, in my head I'm still saying I have a chance at winning, so, um, even though I think there's a lot of noise from the outside with those expectations that I have in myself as well, it's not something that's been super overwhelming, um, for me personally. Have you been surprised at your win streak, how many races you've been able to reel off? Have you been surprised at your win streak, how many races you've won in a row, have you surprised yourself at all? Um, I don't know if I would say surprised. I think anytime just like on the track, my goal is just to win. You know, I'm super thankful and blessed that I've been able to do that. Um, so yeah, it's kind of On the back stretch, you started to play away and then Holly Mustard uh, caught a tour. Is there any sort of strategy that you have going to the last hundred meters to the screen? What's your game plan going into that last hundred meters? Um, a lot of it is just feeling where everyone else is. Um, you know, by come the last seventy meters. Uh, I kind of peek up a little bit, but at the same time, it's, it's kind of pointless because you know everyone's going to come with their last run, final push. So, yeah, I think it's about um, coming off that turn hard and then, you know, trying to save a little bit left for that last 30, 40 to get one last push. On the, on the back stretch when they're coming up on you? When? On the back stretch, they always come. Maybe like from, no, like from like 400 to 600. Is it easy to keep them off there? It always looks effortless for you. They're always trying to come up and get around you, and you never yeah, let them pass. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's something, um, just like if we, through practice, we practice that as well. When yeah, someone comes up, um, of like coming up on you, just being able to respond is something that I've kind of practiced since I was a kid as well. So, um, yeah, it's just about maintaining an outlet and pass. And did you know the, the betting you. You're the biggest favorite in the whole women's meet on like the betting markets. I did not know that. Is that, I mean, that means you're most likely to win. Does that give you confidence or um, you don't think about stuff like that? I don't think about it like that. And I think at the same time, it's also like, um, I know when I'm in a race and I'm coming in, you know, if I'm coming in with someone like super ranked, um, I look at it like I have nothing to lose. They're supposed to win, so I may as well give them my all. So I think for me, it's like, yeah, I'm thinking about, okay, I might be the favorite, but I'm also thinking about kind of what's that saying to my competitors and what extra motivation that's given them to kind of, you know, want to put it all in line as well. Good luck. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.